Hi everyone, myself Harsha, you are watching Harsha Trainings and I am going to make a series of videos about row relation algorithm in detail with a clear cut explanation about all the different criteria that is there in row relation algorithm. And this video, this is a series of videos, total 7 videos, it is going to explain about row relation algorithm each criteria in one video. If you are watching this video, please be noted that there are other videos maybe in front of this video or after this video which covers the entire rule resolution algorithm process. So before we get into the rule resolution algorithm and we are going to start a new training batch on PEGA from this May 31st 2022. Timings will be morning 8 am to 9 am IST Indian Standard Time. If you have any of your friends who are looking for the same you can refer them. And if any of your friends who are freshers or any one of your connections who are freshers graduated on in any degree and who have gap after education or if they are looking for a career change, I mean like if they are already working and looking for career change, you can recommend Harsha trainings which is we suggest them the best and high demanding course in the market and get them achieve their goals to get into the IT field and get the IT job. And now this is the sixth video of rule resolution algorithm process where I am going to explain about rule authorization process in detail. If you have any questions or any doubts please post your questions in the comment section below of this video and if you are attending interviews on PEGA if you have any queries for which you are looking for answers please post those questions in the comment section below we would be happy to help you and assist you. For each and every rule that is being requested this algorithm of steps will get executed by the process command. Make sense everyone clear? This is how you need to explain the rule relation algorithm. Okay, so let me tell you about uh, operator authorization once again. Yesterday someone told they have missed it. Let me tell you. Uh, where is the document? The theory documents it is there, right? Can you please explain about final? Rule relation. Just hold on. I'll explain about final once again. Hold on. See, op rule authorization means whenever an operator is requesting for a rule, process commander has to verify this operator has access to the rule or not. How it will know? For every rule, there will be a rule set, right? Every rule will be there. In it. it will verify this rule is part of which rule set. From the rule set, it will identify the rule set is from which application. From the application to identify this is referred in which access group. Now finally it has got one access group right. That access group is matching with the current operator access group or not. If both are matching he is authorized else he is not authorized. It is a bottom top approach. Okay.